Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Alexis, what do you think about this verdict? Were you surprised? Thank you for having me on. Uh, not really, unfortunately. I mean, trials are really the tales of the competing narratives. And in this case in particular, it was, is he a victim or was he a vigilante? And I mean, the prosecutors really had a very high hell really mountain to overcome because of Wisconsin's law and the low threshold for self-defense. I mean, we had a situation where the defendant just has to claim that he acted in self-defense and then the burden shifts all the way back to the prosecution to prove that he didn't act in self-defense, that a reasonable person in that situation of reasonable intelligence would have done the same thing, thought that their life was threatened and acted in self-defense. That's a really strong threshold coupled with the fact that Rittenhouse was on the stand. He was very upset. You mentioned he was upset when the verdict came. Some said that he was crying on cue uh, when he was on the stand, but he was speaking and, and testifying to you know how scary it was, what was going on. This is coupled with the fact that we had testimony that the uh, one of the victims who were, was shot luckily lived, testified that he did have a gun. He may have pointed it in Rittenhouse's direction, as well as Rosenbaum, one of the uh, victims uh, that was shot and unfortunately died, was charging him even though he had this gun on him. So I mean, with that, that low threshold to meet that burden and coupled with that testimony, uh, you know, it really was a very high mountain that the prosecution had to go over to be able to get a conviction.